For this lesson, you will need a graphing calculator. Thank you. Okay, 1.2, we're going to do lines in the plane. A lot of this is like review. Well, it is all review. Uh, um, we did it in algebra. You did it in geometry. You did it in algebra, too. When we get to this part, though, we're going to use our graphing calculator to do it and not do it by hand. Okay? So, first things first. Oh, I'm um, really? Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about slope. When you are trying to find the slope of something, hey, hi. When you're trying to find the slope of something, remember that the little m means slope, and you do the change in y over the change in x. Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if they give us two sets of points and we have to find slope, how do I set this up? Three plus one minus zero over three minus eight. So I get one over five. My slope of that is one fifth. How do I set up slope down here? Two minus two over. So you get zero over. What happens if zero is on top? If the slope is zero. Okay, so my slope is zero. Okay, remember these four rules about slopes. If your slope is greater than zero, your graph is rising from left to right. What count? I just wonder if you can put my pass and you get the chance. Sorry. I said you needed your graph calculator. Okay. So remember, when your slope is greater than zero, you have a graph that rises from left to right. When your slope is less than zero, you have a graph that falls from left to right. When your slope equals zero, you have a horizontal line. If your slope is undefined, meaning zero is in the denominator spot, then you have a vertical line. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you definitely need to pay attention. Now, if you have a point and a slope, and they want you to create an equation, you're going to use point-slope form. Remember point-slope form? Y minus We one. take y minus y1 equals our slope times x minus x1, and then you have to rework the equation to get it into y equals form. Okay? So we want to find the equation of a line that passes through 1, negative 2, and has a slope of 3. How do you set that up? How would we set that up? So y minus negative two equals three x minus one. Good. And then you just go from here. This gives you y plus two equals three x minus three. Then you subtract two from both sides because we want it in y equals y equals 3x minus 5. There's the equation of that. Okay? So that is what we are looking at um, for something along those lines. Now, let's talk about one other part, and then we're going to do the second part of this lesson tomorrow. Yay. Okay. In 2011, Tyson Foods had sales of 32.266 billion, and in 2012, they had sales for 33.278 billion. Write a linear equation giving the sales y in terms of the year yet x, then use the equation to predict the sales for 2013. After we come up with the equation, we're going to put it in our graphing calculator, and then we're going to predict. Okay, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Now, how can we create an equation for this? What do we need to do? It says write a linear equation giving the sales y in terms of the year x. So what do we have to do? We have enough data to do something. Be able to talk to ideas. Point slope form. Point slope form, okay. How do I find my slope? 
Okay. What points am I using for the slope formula? Okay. So I'm going to use this as my, is that my X or my Y? Y. Y. Because it says the year is your X. So this represents a Y. This represents an X. This represents a Y. This represents an X, wherever it is. Um, 2011 is my other X. Okay. So I need change in Y over change in X, correct? Yeah. And I don't have to do um, billion to like solve that. I can just change it into the decimal numbers so that it's easier. So um, one of my Y's is 33. So 33.278 minus 32.266 over 2012, right? Minus 2000. 11. What is 33.278 minus 32.266? Mm -hmm. 1.012 and on bottom it's just a difference of 1, right? So my slope is 1.012. Does it matter which point I choose for point slope form? No. Okay, so I'm going to do y minus, I'm just going to choose the first set of data. 32.266 equals 1.012 times x minus 2011. Okay? From there, you distribute y minus 32.266 equals 1.012x minus over 2011 times... 1.012. Then I add this to that side. this to 11 because it will make our numbers smaller. So if we do it like this and just change this to 12 and 11, our numbers become smaller and it's easier to work with. Yes? And it's easier. So this is this. And then when I add this 32 over here, it's going to make it nice. So y equals 1.012x plus 21.134. Now, we need to take this equation and put it in our calculator so that we don't have to plug in to estimate. So, graphing calculator, you need to go to y equals and plug in your equations. And then we're going to have to make sure our window is okay. Oh, Derek. No, you don't want any plots on this. Your plots do not need to be on. And graphs. Why? 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 So you need to plug that in, and then you need to graph it. If you do not see it going through the y-axis, you need to fix your window. Oh, I need to change my window. So what should I do? Mine's set at negative 20, 30, and then I'm counting by 2, and then negative 20, 30, and I'm counting by 2. And I can see the whole thing. I need to go I can't see. 
in the press ground. Now, if you want to find a specific in point of intersection on this graph, which we do, we want to figure out, um, use the equation to predict the sales for 2013. I can do that by pressing um, second and trace, because it will say calc above it, second calc. If you press that and then press value, press enter on number one, it's going to have x equals and it's going to flash. What would x equal in this case? 13. Plug in 13 and you're going to get how many billions of dollars in sales it would have. 34.29 billion. You plug in 13. You don't plug in 15. You can't get 15 instead of 13. You're plugging a number in. What were we we set as our ones that we bought? Um, I set mine as negative 20, 30, and 2 for all for both X and Y. Okay. No, and then you press graph. And then you just press second and count. And you press value, and that's where you plug 13 into. And it will give you what you're going to do. Instead of a plus. Okay, so that is the short way to estimate what um, your value is. If you put your equation into your graphing calculator, it will do it for you. Instead of you like trying to draw a line and estimate what it is, you're just going to get the exact amount. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. All of this stuff is review stuff. The only thing that was different was plugging this in your calculator and finding it for the year 2013. Cool? Tomorrow we will finish the rest of this section because then we're going to make equations that are parallel and perpendicular to each other. Mm -hmm.